Hey, what's up guys? I'm TPB Robinizer and today I am bringing you guys the first half of the <clears throat> NPC week 6. So, my week 6 opponent is Jordan. Um he's not doing too hot. He's 1 in 5. But uh he's got a pretty pretty solid team, you know. Um shouldn't underestimate him, underestimate him just cuz of his uh record. So, his team Infernape, Cresselia, Dragonite, Donphan, Volcarona, Slowking, Chesnaught, Eel, Deblade, Ninetales, Minior, and Zatu. Crestwall is my team. Dragonite sweeps it. It's really threatening. So, uh, yeah, let's just get into it. So, Specs Feeny. Um, max special attack specs. This thing can just body everything. Okos and two it KOs. Everything except for Spideff, Cresselia. Um, yeah, Spit F Cresselia takes two hits. That's it. This thing can just two it KO everything and do tons of damage. Um, but the thing it can't break is Cresselia. So that's the one mon I need to check. <clears throat> so, I have Hydreigon, which is a pretty great Cresselia check. Dark Pulse for the Cresselia. Dark Pulse for the Cresselia. Draco to nuke something. Flash Cannon, Earth Power. Flash Cannon is to hit Nine Tails and Earth Power. Something. Infernape? Deblade. Not Deblade. I don't know. Earth Power might just be there for coverage because I don't have anything better to run. So. I got these three moves and then Earth Power. Enough speed, doubt speed, max speed, Dragonite, <clears throat> max special attack specs, 44 HP. This thing can do tons of damage to to everything. Just these two mons combined break through his entire team. Like it's it's hilarious how much damage they do. And then uh yeah. So now, I need a more defensive approach. Uh, Dreadigon, Rocky Helmet, Rough Skin, Max HP, Max Defense. Glare to Paralyze, Stealth Rock to set up rocks. Dragon Tail to Phase, and then EQ for Infernape, because this thing can take any one hit from Infernape and EQ or Dragon Tail. Or Glare. This thing is just here to get the Rough Skin Rocky Helmet damage on mons and uh, yeah do some work and next up is spiky ball spikes and toxic spikes um, I already have rocks and Zygarde quote unquote Zygarde um, so I have spikes and toxic spikes <clears throat> to uh, yeah just toxic everything he, he has a if I can toxic Volcarona it can't set up um, Crest isn't hit, but Donphan, Slowking, those things don't want to be toxic. Um, yeah, they just don't want to be toxic. Gyro Ball, because uh, that's my main way of doing damage. I don't really want to spin. I would rather have Gyro Ball Volt Switch than Rapid Spin. So, uh, yeah, just max defense, max HP Fortress. Um, next up, is for alligator. Um, I was like, originally I didn't have this mod on my team, but last minute I was like, wait, this Dragonite takes a hit from this mon? What else? Um, Crunch can break through Crest and Slowking, Aqua Jet for his faster mons, and Waterfall for like Donphan. Max Attack Adamant, 108 speed. 2 out speed, max speed eel, and uh, the rest in HP. So this is a Sword Dance set. It is not a Dragon Dance set. Um, I like Sword Dance a bit more. Dragon Dance is actually very good though. So SD, after an SD or two, Aqua Jet will be killing everything. Crunch will be doing a ton to Crest and Slow King, and then Waterfall will be killing Donphan. This mod is just here to late game sweep, hopefully. And I'll, at this point, I had a really hard time with this last slot. I was like, 
Okay, Dragonite sweeps me. Since Feeny's offensive, Dragonite can actually sweep me, like, after one Dragon Dance. So, I have... I had to think outside of the box a bit here. And I have a Choice Scarfed Mold Breaker Sock. So, if he ever brings in Dragonite, I'm going hard sock with enough speed with the Choice Scarf to outspeed it after a Dragon Dance. Mold Breaker to hit through the multi scale and Ice Punch to Oko. Now, if he goes for Z Fly on the turn I switch into sock, he can't beat Feeny anymore unless he's set up a lot. He can't beat Fortress anymore. Well, he can beat it, but he can't do a ton of damage to it anymore. So, basically, I hard this hard switch this in. It will beat the Dragonite if it went for a Dragon Dance, or if he goes for Z Fly. Feeny can now beat the Dragonite. But it's a uh, really weird check. But uh, I think it's the best I got. <laughs> Just. Bring it in, Mold Breaker, Ice Punch, Loco, because Mold Breaker has to do the multi scale. Close combat for damage, um, knock off to hit Cresselia and Slowking, like Cress and Slowking are a pain for my team. And uh, Rock Slide for Volcarona, because uh, Volcarona is a really good mod. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for the team builder. I will see you all in a couple seconds for the battle. Hey, what's up guys? I'm TPV Robinizer. Welcome back for the second half of week six of the MPC. So, uh, team preview. Jordan didn't bring Dragonite or Cresselia, but he brought Aurora Veil. So, I don't have to worry about those huge threats, but I also have to worry about, like, a setup mini or Infernape setup Slow King under Aurora Veil. Which is really scary. Aurora Veil does a lot to my team. And uh, I did not expect him to bring Minior, but he brought it. So uh, I'm just going to need to break through that with Feeny, get some extra damage with Dridagon. But uh, fortunately, Fortress after he Shell Smashes, if he's in his Shields down form, whatever, the form where he's fast. Gyro Ball Oko's like it, it'll Oko. So, um, yeah, I was like, he's gonna lead Don Fan to get up his rocks, maybe Impernate for rocks. Um, yeah, so I'm like, okay, let's lead Feeny. Feeny can actually, like, just do a ton to them. So I lead Feeny, and he leads Eel, the one thing I don't want him to lead. Um, he leads Eel. And I'm just like, okay, I can't touch this. So, uh, I switch out into Dredagon, because I calced in. He does zero to Dredagon. Like, I don't, I don't even have any Spideff or Assault Vest, and he, he did 24%. Uh, he brings in his Don Fan, and I set up my rocks, and I'm fine if he spins, because I can actually win the war where he just spins, and I go for Stealth Rock, because he'll be taking... 27% whenever he goes for rapid spin. Um, I go for EQ to see to scout out his set. He goes for EQ, an EQ of his own. And uh, from him doing very little damage and me doing very little damage, I can tell this thing is max defense. So even if he's max defense, gu defense gunk shot won't be too, doing too much to Feeny. So I bring this in. Um, he can calc and see I don't have any defense investment, and so he's like, okay, this thing is sp spit F maybe, and uh, nope, I'm specs. He brings in Eel and Moonblast to it KOs. He brings in Slowking, Moonblast to it KOs. And then he brings in uh, Ninetales and Moonblast Okos. Um, that crit, well, okay. Moonblast had like a 70% chance to Oko. So that crit, um, it kind of mattered. It, it only mattered if I got a low roll. Um, now he brings in Minior. He's just trying to sweep. And, uh, like, I can't switch out because I can't let this thing set up. <clears throat> Go for Moonblast. 
and uh yeah it did it did a ton of damage and he goes for shell smash and i see he will die to hail in two turns one hail and he's in shields down so he'll oko anything except for fortress because it's sturdy and i'm i i can't sack sock because uh just having it to outspeed him for an ape is huge but Dredagon is low it's less than half and uh, I can just sack it off and I actually do get it a kill because he will kill me but then I kill him with his the rough skin so Dredagon picking up a kill at in its last match and I see okay I can go Feeny and sweep or I can go for alligator and sweep and the difference between Feeny and Feralgator is Feralgator's at full health. And unless Eel comes out, I can just set up an SD. So his Slow King comes out and he heart goes hard Eel as I go for an SD. And uh, I can just sweep everything here. Aqua Jet kills. Crunch will kill this. Uh, Waterfall will kill, will kill Dawn Fan. Um... I do get a crit, it didn't matter, I'm plus two stab Mystic Water Waterfall, and Infernape comes in and it dies to Aqua Jet. So for Alligator picking up four more kills, it is somewhat high on the kill leaders now, so yeah, that's pretty that's pretty nice. And uh Yep, I will see you all next week for week seven versus Noah. Noah is a very tough opponent and he's got a really solid team. He's like 4-2 and two right now, and uh, yeah, but yeah, that's going to be it for you guys. Peace.